Why Elon Musk is terrified about James Webb Telescope Have you ever heard anything from aliens? But before hearing, did we ever discover them? The Hubble Space Telescope has been in space exploring for more than 30 years now, but still we haven't found them. Although the Hubble did teach us many things about our solar system, now it's time for him to get waved as the new James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is set to take his place. The JWST has stunned everyone, including Elon Musk. He has even made a comment on the JWST observing its goals and ambitions. Well, do you want to know more about the James Webb Space Telescope and what did Elon Musk say about it? Then stay tuned in the video. Welcome to Elon Musk Newest! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech magnate Elon Musk and his wild endeavors. That being said, let's begin. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, which is NASA's largest and most athletic space science telescope, is going to study the cosmos to unveil the history of the universe, from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and beyond. It is one of NASA's greatest observatories, huge space instruments that contain the likes of the Hubble Space Telescope to gape deep into the cosmos. It will take about 30 days for the James Webb Space Telescope to trek nearly a million miles to its permanent home, a Langrange Point, a gravitationally stable site in space. The James Webb Space Telescope will orbit the Sun at the second Langrange Point, L2. L2 is a speck in space near Earth that lies opposite from the Sun. This orbit will enable the telescope to stay in line with Earth as it orbits the Sun. It has been a famous spot for several other space telescopes, including the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory. But let's come back to the present. The telescope was dispatched on December 24th and had many eyes fixed to it. And most recently, it also elicited a reaction from tech billionaire Elon Musk, replying to a BBC Twitter article that shed light on Webb's goals of searching the end of darkness. Musk called it a big deal. This is huge, and Musk noted it too. But why did Musk call it a big deal? For those young to the scientific spring, launching the Webb telescope is a big deal for quite a few reasons. First of all, the telescope is an alliance of three space agencies, NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, and completed its launch after 30 years of development. The second reason that makes a Webb telescope a big deal is the route it will be treading on, built to see even the fuzziest of the information carrying infrared light. The telescope will glance back in time, nearly 13 billion years ago when the first stars emerged. This telescope is assembled in a way with results to be anticipated like that of a time machine, through which scientists will revisit the early days of our universe and know how the universe got served with light. It is felt that before the Big Bang, that all the universe had in the name of the cosmic matter was darkness, and this darkness was excluded with the ignition of the first stars far away from our planet. The telescope will hunt for the light that arose from the first star billions of years ago after it points its 21-foot gold-plated mirrors toward a thin space of the sky. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope will concentrate on four main areas. First light in the universe, assembly of galaxies in the early universe, the birth of stars, and protoplanetary systems, and planets including the origins of life. The last decade has beheld large numbers of exoplanets being found, including NASA's planet-seeking Kepler Space Telescope. JWST's powerful sensors will be proficient to look at these planets in more depth, including imaging their atmospheres. Knowing the atmospheres and the formation conditions for planets could aid scientists in better foreseeing if certain planets are habitable or not. Understanding life beyond Earth is amusing, but scientists have a very high bar for what makes a planet habitable and other than Earth, they haven't seen anything that fulfills the bill. But the James Webb Space Telescope might change that. Although it is not alone, long before the Webb was mailed to look at the outlying universe, there has been the CADA of Mars missions researching habitability nearer to home. This involves NASA's Viking 1 mission and its Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, which resume to prowl and study the red planet. Mars is one example of a planet that has been investigated and probed with several missions over the past several years, writes Inverse reporter Passant Raby. NASA's Viking 1 mission, which landed on Mars in 1976, was the first to prove that Mars's environment was once conducive to life. Now, 46 years later, the long-awaited Webb telescope will assist researchers in the quest to find life in space by peering into far-off exoplanets' atmospheres. 
Scientists can then determine which missing light corresponds to which chemical and find out what the planet's air is made up of, writes Raby. The next area of focus JWST has is learning about the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems. The Eagle Nebula's Pillars of Creation are some of the most well-known birthplaces for stars. Stars come to be in mists of gas, and as the stars grow, the radiation pressure they wield blows away the cocooning gas. However, it's tough to see inside the gas. JWST's infrared eyes will be able to look at the origins of heat, including stars that are being born in these cocoons. What makes it more exciting is the way it is looking at galaxies, in an effective way to see how matter is composed on gigantic scales, which in turn gives us whiffs as to how the universe evolved. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today developed from various shapes over billions of years, and one of JWST's motives is to look back at the firstest galaxies to understand that evolution. Scientists are also trying to figure out how we got the variety of galaxies that are apparent today, and the current ways that galaxies form and assemble. This is actually one of the main objectives of JWST, to look at the early phase of the universe. We all know that the Big Bang created this universe, but what we don't know is what was shaped just after the Big Bang. In the first stages after the Big Bang, the universe was a sea of particles, such as electrons, protons, and neutrons, and the light was not noticeable until the universe chilled enough for these particles to begin blending. So what JWST will probe is what happened after the first stars formed, the era which is referred to as the Epoch of Reionization, because it relates to when neutral hydrogen was reionized by radiation from these first stars. The web is also going to overtake the Hubble Space Telescope in several aspects. It will let astronomers look not only farther out in space, but also further back in time. It will scour for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. It will certify scientists to make careful research of multiple exoplanets, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. The web is a machine for answering the unanswered questions about the universe, for exploring what has been unexplored until now. The Hubble has been in space for more than three decades, and how is JWST going to surpass it? Webb improves on Hubble in two key ways. The first is just its size. Hubble was about the volume of a school bus, whereas Webb is more like the size of a tennis court. Webb is by far the largest telescope NASA's ever sought to send into space. But it's not just the total size of the widget that matters. When it comes to reflecting telescopes, the key factor is the size of its curved mirror. The more light you can compile in this bucket, the fainter and farther away things you can glimpse in the universe. Hubble's mirror was a striking 7.8 feet in diameter, but Webb's stunning gold-hued mirrors combined for a diameter of 21.3 feet. Overall, that amounts to more than six times the light collecting area. What Webb will do is take that field and go even further, UT Austin's Casey explains. So the tiny specks of light in the background of the Hubble Deep Field will brighten and become more detailed. We'll be able to see spiral arms, we'll be able to see structure, and we'll get more specks of light even further in the past. And this all collected with many more startling findings that are yet to be found make this telescope a real big deal. And that's the reason why everyone is so stunned by it. Well, that's it from our side. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, make sure that you smash that subscribe button down below, and click the bell icon to be the first to know when we upload a brand new video. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.